Look at that, Outlaws. Jack it up to a five-piece combo. Jack's spicy chicken strips combo. I gotta find out what this is all about. Roll the intro. What's up, Outlaws? Welcome to Deadly Outlaws Five Star Reviews. Bob's Burgers. Look at that burger, Outlaws. How's it going, Outlaws? Welcome back to Deadly Outlaws Five Star Views. If this is your first time checking out this video, consider subscribing to my channel to have great food content uploaded on Mondays, Wednesdays, and every Friday, Brothers Wrestling Podcast. And on Saturdays and Sundays, we do like Outlaws Live on Center, where I swear and say all kinds of crazy stuff. Come on, Wikipedia! Or James Ada trying to do his Ada Trine's Let's Plays, and I'm possibly planning to work on new projects down the line, maybe some anime, as well as, um, let's see. I am planning to put an anime review for you guys this Friday, so you're in luck. I saw it at SakuraCon at my anime convention. And I'm also planning to work on a voiceover series, and more James A. Trine will be filmed soon. All right. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm not reviewing that. And in a couple weeks, I will be doing Official Outlaws again. I'm just taking a break from it, Outlaws. All right, so here we go. So I went to Jack in a Box and they had their new spicy chicken strips. Look at that, Outlaws. There's our thumbnail. So I'm drinking it with a Diet Orange Sprite. These are the Jack in a Box's new. Spicy chicken strips. This cost me about $8.99. I got a combo with it. Look at that. So that's like, oh wow, that is a little bit spicy. Look at those herbs on there. Spicy herbs, maybe it's cayenne. I'm just guessing what's on there. Crispy chicken. Ooh, I can't try this. I can't wait to try this. And I also got some sauce okay. with it. So I got some dipping sauce with it. And it gave me fries. Ooh. Barbecue sauce. It's all about the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Can they give me the hot sauce? And Frank's red hot sauce. We're back. All right, let's open up the Frank's red hot sauce. Ooh. Let's dip this and give this a try. Mmm. Ooh, that's really spicy. They forgot to give me a, a straw. Yeah, because I need this. This is a little spicy. And let's just try this regular. Very mild on the spiciness right here. I need the Frank's Red Hot Sauce to get it a kick. But I dip it in here. Mmm. I get a spicy kick right here. So you want a spicy kick? Use Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. And let's try out the barbecue sauce. This sauce is so good. <laughs> <clears throat> plunk. Mm. 
And when I dip the barbecue sauce with this spicy chicken strip, I get a tangy taste. Tangy, very sweet. Mmm. Really good. Let's mix the barbecue sauce with some Frank's Red Hot sauce. I didn't get sweet and sour because I don't think it'd work for this. So here's a mixture. <laughs> very, very spicy when I do that. Probably not a good idea. But I like the barbecue sauce. Oh, wow, get in my nose. So, this is really good. So, Outlaws, if you're a Jack in the Box, you should try their new spicy chicken strips because you're going to get a kick out of this if you use Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I know I do. <laughs> so an Outlaws rating. Oh, and here's the fries, of course, because it came with it. Rise to Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Mm -mm. It's better to use it It's better to use it for the um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce if you want to get a spicy kick for this um, chicken spicy chicken strip because yeah you get a kick of it you don't get a kick if you dip it in the barbecue sauce all right so an outlaw's rating bonus footage so outlaws i'm thinking later on down the line maybe i'll do some workout videos for you guys like I can eat something healthy like yogurt or all kinds of stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you like that. All right, let's get to that rating, Mike. I'm gonna give this. Because this is a little bit spicy with this little little bit of herbs on there, or cayenne, or whatever spiciness is on here. Maybe jalapeno spices. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It's really good. I'd recommend it if you go to Jack in the Box, tell them Mike from Outlaws Generation told you to try their new spicy chicken strips if you're a fan of spiciness. Like I said, it's kind of, it's very mild when I try this just regular. But you want to kick, use the um, Frank's hot, Red Hot Sauce and you'll really get a kick. Cause my nose, my nose is very runny right now from this. It'll make you sweat a little bit, but if you have the barbecue sauce, just get a sweet, tangy taste. And the bread crumbs are like, it's crispy, it's, it's crispy, which is really good. And um, per flavor with the, you know, the the spices when you get when you take a bite of this. So good job on that. So four out of five. All right. Well, at the, we're at the end screen now, Outlaws. You can click on my other videos. Go to another video where you tell, saw where I did a couple months ago. I did a review on Jack in the Box's Melt Patty sourdough. Melt Patty. Oh, it was so good. Or you can also click up here and click on my drink reviews and click the round subscribe button so you don't miss anything right here. And also, 
clicked my merchandise. Yeah, I got to do merchandise now. It is shop.spreadshirt.com slash outlaws generation shop. Lots of new designs on there and more many designs to be made down the line. And don't forget, James A. Had tried and returns on June the 7th. I know you guys are going to be excited about that. All right. Well, that's it for the review. And remember, Outlaws, you can't review it until you taste it. And next time, come join me on my next food adventure, and we will review some delicious foods. Fellas! Outlaws Generation out. And thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.